Hello everybody, I'm Skier, and I would like to welcome you to Let's Play... Pokemon Ruby Destiny Rescue Rangers. I'm a male, and my name is Chris. or something. And so begins gameplay. Now, your character sprite is a Pikachu, and the story begins before you're a Pikachu, so Gold had to come up with an excuse for you being a Pikachu. As such, you're dressed up as one, because you're a 12 year old and you really like Pokemon. funny because it's ironic. It's not funny. Alright, so let's go upstairs. Just look at that writing. It's just absolutely cringeworthy. Where are we? You know, this opening dialogue really reminds me of the opening to the one-episode animation that aired back when the first 
Pokemon Red and Blue Rescue Team games came out. It's funny because the team in that one was also called Go Getters. And here we are in the Sinister Woods. You'll be seeing a bit more of this place as this game progresses. And here is a battle. This is the Sun Curtain. It has... It is one of the statistically worst Pokémon in all of the games. Now, as you just saw, Pikachu used Thundershock. Thundershock is... a pretty weak electric-type move. There being 16 types of moves in Pokémon. And I just showed off another game mechanic. Switching. You can switch out one Pokemon for another, if you feel so inclined. Like in my case, I switched it out because Pikachu is too weak to really deal any damage, so... So I switched out to my main damage dealer, Torchic. And when you switch out, experience points get shared between the two Pokemon. Cut in half. Now, the Citrus Berry is a very, pretty good restorative item. The Citrus Berry restores 30 HP. And I was planning on giving each of the members of the team one, but they already have one, so that's nice. Got another few citrus berries here. And let's go down to the next floor. TM27 is Return, which is a move that increases an attack power based on how much affection a Pokemon holds towards you. Affection is a value that each Pokemon individually has, ranging from hatred to love completely. I cut out a battle there, because it was just another fight against a Sun Kern, and nothing really interesting happened in it. Ah, we have a new battle transition, which shows a new type of Pokemon. This one being a Wormhole. Wormhole is a bug type Pokemon. And Growl is an, a normal type move that lowers the attacking power of an enemy Pokemon. So if a move deals physical damage to a Pokemon, it would be categorized as under the attack stat. Those are moves like Slash, Tackle, and Body Slam. Special attack goes for moves like Thundershock, Surf, and... Ember. They deal special damage. And are filed under the special attack stat. Now, on this floor, I can't recall much, but I do believe we will be getting a Silk Scarf soon. Ah, this is a healing plant. They basically act as your Pokemon centers for this game. They, as they give your team a full heal. Another worm pull here. Now, String Shot is a move that lowers the speed of a Pokémon. Speed being a stat that determines... ...which Pokémon will move first.
Ah! And as you can see, Pikachu's Citrus Berry restored its health because its HP fell underneath 50%. And a level up. Level ups are pretty interesting. When your Pokemon gets enough experience, they will become stronger. The Silk Scarf is an item that increases the power of normal type moves. Here we have another battle. Against a very strong Zigzagoon. Tail Whip is a move that lowers the defense of a Pokemon. Well, a move like Growl reduces the attack of another Pokemon, Tail Whip makes it easier for regular moves to... regular moves file under the attack stat to deal more... to deal more damage. I decided to send out Chikorita here, as she's the second weakest. That's a lot of experience. And here I'm demonstrating the fact that your Pokemon team does not have to be rigid in shape. You can change it around as much as you want. Now my Pikachu's dead. Or rather, fainted. But that's alright, because there's a healing plan right here. And as you can see, they're all fine. And because I know what's coming up, I put Chikorita in front. And figured I'd give both Pokemon that have used berries and another citrus berry. As it will come in handy. Uh, but before we get to fight the boss of this area, we run into a Wurmple. Now, if you don't feel like fighting a Pokemon, you can always just run away. They're called Team Meanies. That is also the name of the opposing enemy team in the TV show that I mentioned previously. Except, instead of a Manectric, they had a Metacham. Now, you may have noticed that I used Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a move that I picked up in a battle that I cut out. And it is a move that has a same type attack bonus. Moves that have a same type attack bonus deal 1.5 times more damage than they would on a Pokemon that doesn't get the same type of attack bonus, here to refer to as Stab. Also, Pokemon that are owned by trainers give out a lot more experience than wild Pokemon. going to be a back and forth thing of scratches. I guess I'll explain later. It's kind of like Tail Whip, except it lowers defense a bit more. And that episode gave out a lot of experience. Ember is the weakest fire-type move, until Generation 5, where Incinerate became the weakest fire-type move.
now for the last matchup. It's going to be Pikachu versus Gengar. I, what I did there was I switched the moves around by using Select. Ah, a status ailment. This one in particular is Sleep, as you can see. Sleep makes it so that you can't attack because your Pokémon's asleep. There are moves to get around this, such as... Snore. And an interesting thing to note is that I just paralyzed Gengar using Pikachu's ability, which is if it's hit by a, a physical attack move, then it has a percentage to paralyze Pokémon, which lowers the enemy's speed to 1, and... Occasionally, it makes it so they can't move. And with that, we have finished our first boss fight. Now, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Please comment if you feel so inclined, rate it, and if you really would like to see more, I would like to ask you to subscribe. Thank you all for watching.